Hello! Today, we will be going over how to complete Downriver Run on Alpha. I will be showing you the path we take to beat the mission. Our tribe has some really good scores. Nova, one of our best at the mission, can complete it with 10 to 11 seconds left. There is at least 10 seconds of wiggle room for the rest of us, who may not be quite as good. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you all for subscribing and watching my videos. I am very excited to hit the 1k mark and strive to bring you great content. As a thank you, I have convinced my tribe to let me share how we've been beating Alpha Rockwell on Genesis 2. It is a super easy method for winning the fight. I will premiere the video next week, so keep an eye out for that, and we can watch it together. I look forward to continuing this YouTube journey with everyone, but you're here to see Alpha Down River Run, so let's get into it. Nova will be the one controlling the canoe, showing you his path. Here's his best score. Let me know in the comments below what score you were able to get. Personally, I crossed the finish line at 0 seconds left, so mine is not great. While we will show you the path to help you complete the mission, you will still need a lot of practice to get it down. Okay, so here we go. We get this started. Uh, Nova's going to head down the river for us, and I kind of guide you on what he's doing. At the beginning here, you want to kind of stay a little bit to the right. You don't want to go too far left. As we cut around this little edge here, where you see the grass sticking out, as soon as you get past that, and you're de-rendered, but yeah, you start kind of start turning right. And then uh, turn right really sharp. You can bounce the front of your canoe off the rock you just passed, I did it all the time, it's fine. When you come through this speed ring here, you're going to want to start turning left as soon as you come out of the speed, so that you can avoid the rock on the right. The river will pull you into it, and then you want to kind of hug the left side, but you don't get too far left, because the river, the water goes away for some reason and you end up on shore. So you want to start turning left before you reach this rock. Alright, you want to just kind of keep going, tapping left here, and then slowly turning left, turning left, and then do a hard left. And you're going to spin around all these rocks doing that. And this will take some practice to get used to. Right? But that's how you do this part. And then you will start turning right here, kind of straighten it out. Maybe go just a slightly to the right so you don't hit this rock. As soon as you pass this rock, start turning right really hard. You're, what you're wanting to do is swing around here as close to the right shore as you can. And then before, right before you hit this ring, you want to start turning back to the left. And you want to aim and try and go kind of in the middle of these rocks here. Uh, you don't want to hit the rock on the right going through the speed, but if you don't turn right fast enough after you go through the speed, you also hit the rocks on the left. So, and then up through here, you want to stay on the right side of the, of the river, and you're going to go through this speed ring here. If you try and cut through the, rock, the two rocks there to save some time, uh, and you're on an official server, you may lag, and there may also be some desync issues, and your boat may still hit the rocks, even though it doesn't look like it. So here you want to kind of hug to the left as you go through this, and start turning left. Oh, uh, you don't hit the rock on the right. The uh, river should pull you enough that you won't hit the rock on the left. And then you'll just uh, straighten your out and go on the right side of this path here, which you can see. So, And we're going to start turning left as we come across, out from that. We're going to start kind of tapping left, kind of letting the water pull us. And uh, then as we come... Uh, around this corner here, we're gonna start really going left here. And you kind of, this is kind of, you're gonna want to be holding left a lot of this or tapping left. Or you're gonna go left pretty hard. Uh, just avoid that outcropping because you can't hit it. And then, yeah, that can happen too. But luckily, we didn't take damage. And then start turning right as you get around this rock. And that way, you can miss the rock on the left here after you go through the dash. You don't hit the rock in the middle of the waterfall. You reach the waterfall by 2:30. You're dropping off like we are now, you're good. Hold to the left as you're falling down. So you can go around this rock here and start turning right. And the water will help pull you around it. Okay, if you made it, like I said, by 2.30, you're good. Uh, the next part, this is just the next part you'll have to get down then. And then here, when we drop off here, you go to the right. And that way you, the water will pull you to the left. And so you'll just, by holding right, you'll be able to kind of swing between these two rocks. And then you want to... Just kind of tap left and right through here as you go around the rocks, and then as soon as you pass this rock, start holding left because the water's going to pull you out. You want to angle your boat just like this so that you, when you hit this ring, your boat's aimed between the left and right side here. Right now as we approach the S turn, you want to kind of start hanging left, and then when we get right about here, you want to start holding left and forward and then hit backwards right here, and left, and then hit forward and left right here. Okay, it's all left but forward and backwards, okay? And that'll bring you around the edge here. Uh, then you want to cut between these two rocks by still going left. And the water is constantly pulling you right through this part. So here we are, we're still, we're swinging left pretty hard here. We're going to go, we want to avoid the rock on the right. Don't do the ring on the right either. I was trying to do, get that ring on the right causes a lot of issues and can cause you to wreck. 
Uh, it doesn't save you much time. Even if you do the double ring here, you really don't save that much time. We've practiced lots of ways of doing it. All right, we'll head through this ring and cut a little to the right so we don't slam into the left wall, but we also don't want to slam the rock on the right. Uh, went a little too hard right there. It's okay, though. You notice you still didn't hit anything. So then you want to go ahead and go hug the left side here a little bit as we come around the corner. And then we'll start switching to the right side of the river so that we don't get pulled into this left rock as we try and pass between the left rock and the right shore and hit this ring. As soon as we hit this ring, we're going to do a hard right. Okay, you just hold right as you come through here. And then kind of start trying to straighten it out once you get past this point so you don't hit the rock on the right here. And the water's still going to try and pull you into this rock on the left. Sometimes it does damage, sometimes it doesn't. You want to go right through here really hard and then cut left really hard. And that way the water, the current kind of pulls you through here. And then there you go. Straighten it out. And once you get those two S turns down, that's where you lose all your time. Uh, if you don't lose too much time on those S turns, you can complete this. And that's basically the run. That's how you complete it. Alright, I hope this helps you guys complete this mission. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and have an awesome day.